Beautiful lawn noise. Yeah, buddy. I got plenty of it. But I got the QRM Eliminator. The only thing bad about the QRM Eliminator, it will tend to wait the signal sign. You see, it's, it's gone. That's, I believe I've had that two or three years. I give $50 for it. And it's well worth every penny. But like I said, the only bad thing, it will intenuate the signal, son. But it's better than listening to this. You can get these off of eBay. And uh, let me see if I can get behind the radio table and I'll show how it's wired up. Just look over my mess back here. Because it is a mess. That's how the QRM eliminator is. Thing. Get on back here. About getting tangled up and everything. Right there. That's that white thing out of that RC jacket goes into the QRM eliminator. You gotta have two different antennas hooked up. And a jumper, of course, to the radio. But that's how a QRM eliminator is. Then you gotta have it hooked up to a power supply, which I just got it hooked up to a 12 amp power supply. But you can see, uh, all the wars back here. Now let me see if I can get back around here. Hang on. Goodness. Takes an act of Congress to get back or to get back around because you're tangled up in coal wax and wars running everywhere. But you can see S9 and that's line noise. Coming down here at this transformer. Ten meters is just about gone. We look at how pretty that is. Well, you can see the signals. Now the QRM eliminator's on. Well, 
I just wanted to shoot a quick video of the QRM Eliminator, which it does make a, no, a difference. The only thing bad, it tenuates the signal. But it's, if you got line noise like I do, and they don't do no good to call the light company, they'll come out four, they come out four or five times and fix the, and about three months later, it's back. So, I just went ahead and got the QRM Eliminator. But that's bad, being 40 miles from nowhere and not being close to no major substation or nothing like that. And not way out here in the country to put, put up with all that noise. Like I said, it don't do no good really, uh, really to call them because... They'll come out and fix it, and three or four months later, it'll be right back. So that's why I just use the QRM Eliminator, and, uh, you know, call it good. Back when I bought this, this is $50, plus the cable that like, goes from VCR to VCR to dub tapes off with. I don't know what you call it, RCA cable or something. You know, you have to buy one of them. You have to hook it up to a power supply, which it's no biggie. The only thing bad is look here at the signal. But no line noise, which 20 meters ain't that bad anyway. What's bad here is 10 meters. And you can't adjust this. If you adjust it over it's dead quiet, you'll you'll ten away. I hope everybody's having a good day. I just wanted to say hello. 73's from KE4BFG. Everybody have a great day.